Hi, I'm Lucy and welcome to my channel. And welcome to part three of my drama school audition series. If this is the first video you've seen, then be sure to check out my first and second videos on RCS, GSA and Mountview. I'll make sure they're linked down below. In today's video, I'm gonna be discussing my final two audition processes and my experiences. The videos on Thursday and Friday will be slightly different, more about audition etiquette and things to do and things not to do. So if you like this video and you've enjoyed this series and want to see Thursday and Friday's video, please give this a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. So today I'm going to be discussing Arts Ed, which is the Arts Educational Schools, and this was actually the least in-depth audition process in my opinion, as it was only one day. You didn't have to come back any other days, it was literally just one day, two rounds. So you arrive in the morning and everybody does a dance call and a singing call. The dance call is in a ginormous group, it's huge and you do it in this really long, narrow studio. So if you're at the back, you literally can see nothing. The beginning of the dance call is very technical. Just be sure to focus on your technique. I don't think they're really looking at your performance at this stage. Obviously don't look bored, but it's really more about showing what technique you've got and how they can work with that and improve it. After you've done the work in the center, we did our exercise going down the floor. It was jumping, so like leaps and stuff like that. And then after that, we did a routine. Now beware, depending on which group you're in kind of depends how long the routine's gonna be because I did my dance in the second half of the morning and they were running out of time so we only got to do half the amount of routine which the group in the morning did. So just be sure that if you do have a shorter amount of time, give all your performance in that short amount of time. The dance that we had was very typical musical theatre. I don't know if it would be the same every year for Art Said as I've only auditioned for one year. For the singing call in the first round, you go in one at a time. They ask you to prepare a contemporary song and a legit song, but like 99.99999% of the time, they will choose your legit. And yeah, that was really it for the first round. So then you're all sitting in their studio having your lunch while you're waiting for the results. And then Chris Hocking, who's the principal, comes in and just says, thank you very much for coming and hope you had a good day. And then he reads out the list of names of who has made it through to this. Then he reads out the list of names as to who's made it through to the afternoon. It's usually only about 10% of the people there. If you get through to the afternoon, then you have a short acting warm up with the acting teachers. It's the first time you've met them. They're really friendly. They tell you this part isn't assessed and I'm sure it isn't, but I feel like obviously you want to be on top form, but not performing, just working really well as part of a group. Then the rest of the afternoon is based on what they call a carousel. So you have four different things that you'll do throughout the afternoon. You have an acting call, singing, a physical check and an interview. And everyone in the afternoon rotates around these just to make it a much quicker process. So I had acting first. I went in with acting coaches that we did the warm up with. They were so friendly, a really cool Aussie guy and this other British guy, they were really amazing. They did my Shakespeare with me, which is off a list at Arts Ed and they worked on it with me, they workshopped it. Then they saw some of my contemporary, they had a chat with me about who I was. The next part of the recall that I did was the singing. This was actually probably my least favorite part of the recall. You went into the same panel who you did your first round with and they heard your legit again. They go through your legit really carefully, going through so many different details and what you could do better here, what you could do better here, which is obviously so useful. And yeah, but then they do loads of vocal exercises with you to check out your range and your vocal health. Then they asked to hear my contemporary, which I was quite happy about because that's what I prefer. But they literally heard like five seconds. But I suppose they only hear what they need to hear. They're on a tight schedule. They've had so many people to audition all day. So just be aware that you most probably won't get to show off your contemporary very much at Art Said. Then we had the physical check. That's just, they say it doesn't affect your um, application. You basically just go into a room with a physiotherapist. He like checks out your knees and your ankles and your hips and everything and checks you're not got scoliosis or anything along those kind of lines. And basically just to see that you're trainable and that you're not gonna have any major problems with the intensity of the training. The final part I had was the interview. I had it with the vice principal. She was so lovely. It was just a really nice chat. She was asking me about my foundation course, how I'd done the rest of my auditions, growing up in Dubai, all these kind of things. And yeah, my interview process at Arts Head was really chilled out, really nice. However, I have heard from some people that depending on who you get for your interview, they can ask you some quite like 
not difficult questions, but questions you would have needed to research before you go. So I had them prepared as well, which was basically about the last play, the last show you saw, sorry, and what you disliked, who choreographed it, who um, wrote the lyrics, who wrote the script, all those kind of things. So make sure if you are going, have them prepared in case you do need them, and but you might not, and that's fine. Then for your results for Art Said, they send you a letter in the post, which is so old fashioned, but anyway, they say it's so you get your Billy Elliot moment. They send you a letter in the post, and it usually comes, I think, within like a week or two weeks with your results. So finally, Erdang. This was the audition I was most scared for, I think. I was absolutely petrified. I don't think I really knew what to expect, but Rob Archibald and Lindsay had come to my foundation course at GSA and spoken to us and they were so lovely and I loved the sound of Erdang so I thought I was just going to give it a go and be brave. So the first round at Erdang you do all three disciplines which again I think is great. So the dance call you do a ballet class which was really good, I really enjoyed it and it's an amazing great hall. You just walk in and you're like oh my god it's insane and it's so beautiful and yeah I had a really nice dance class they had a live pianist which was so nice and yeah ballet was really good we did bar work center work pirouettes from the corner my pirouettes were tragic but anyway and yeah so I actually really enjoyed the ballet class then you go behind the screens get changed and come out and do a jazz class the jazz class is very intense. Be sure to pace yourself. If you give everything at the start, you're gonna be dead by the end, like properly dead. So you do uh, exercise across the floor. We did kicks and leaps, and then they go on to teach you a routine. So our routine this year was two plus one. It was a very quick routine, quite a long routine, and they do teach it quite quickly. Just be sure when you're learning it, don't do it full out every time because they go over it loads because obviously they want to help you learn it but if you do it full out every single time they go over it with you you're not going to be able to do it full out when it comes to your turn to perform it so that would be my main advice for Erdang Jazz just pace yourself please pace yourself now the bit about Erdang that I was most petrified about was the next part which is at the end of the dance after you've done the routine there's four eights where you have to improv and this is like my idea of hell. I'd never done improv before. It's really not in my comfort zone at all. And there was people doing like flips and everything around me and I was just like, ah. So you just really have to ignore it and just do something. For singing in Erdang, it was so lovely. It was in front of quite a small panel and you went into this room with incredible acoustics. I've never sounded so wonderful in my life. And you just choose the song that you like to sing. You only have to prepare one song. I took other song options in case they wanted to hear them as well. And yeah, it was really friendly. They just had a nice chat with me and it was a really nice experience. Acting was pretty much the same, to be honest. You go in one at a time, do your contemporary piece. You don't have to prepare Shakespeare. They have a little chat with you. They might workshop it with you. But yeah, it was really chilled and really friendly. So then with Erdang, they email you to let you know the outcome of your first round audition. You can either be asked back for a recall, be offered a place or rejection. So I was lucky enough to get offered a place on my first round audition. However, you do have to go back for a funding recall, which is basically they decide if you're eligible for funding or scholarship or if you're going to be on their degree or diploma program. If you do get recalled, just straight out recalled, then the audition, the next round process is the exact same whether you're doing funding or recall. Obviously, they're just assessing different things. So the second round is quite similar to the first round. Again, you do a ballet class, much the same as the first round and a jazz class, which is exactly the same. Do the same routine and everything. So that's no, nothing you need to stress about. You don't do acting at the recall though, or the funding audition. You only do singing. Again, you go in one at a time, do your song. The only difference is really it's in front of a bigger panel. Uh, Solange Erdang was there in mine. And yeah, I think just so they have more opinions. And they also asked me if I had another song they could hear a bit of. So be sure to have more than one song prepared with you. In the second round, the main difference is that you have an interview. The interview was so lovely. They just chat to you, ask you which course you want to be on and make sure to really stress which course you wanted to be on. I really wanted to be degree and I knew that if I was diploma, I wouldn't go. So I just stressed a lot that I wanted to be on degree and I couldn't come unless I was on the degree. So yeah, be sure to make it clear to them which one you'd prefer. They ask you about your other auditions, if you've got in anywhere else, all the general kind of stuff. And it's really chilled and just a nice chat. And they kind of ask you if you've got any questions about the course and everything. 
So that's it for the audition processes and my experiences. I hope it's helped some of you guys out if you're looking to audition at these schools. If you have any other questions, be sure to leave them in the comments and I'll reply to them as best I can. The rest of the videos in this series will be slightly different, more to do with do's and don'ts of auditions and what to wear. If you've enjoyed this video and are looking forward to the next videos, be sure to smash a big thumbs up and subscribe down below so you don't miss any of them. Thanks for watching. Bye.